most of us don't remember our first tetanus shot. It likely came bundled with other vaccines when we were too young to understand what was happening. But even if the memories lost, the sting of that needle, that's something many of us remember from the booster shots later in life. Tetanus shots have a reputation for being particularly painful. Why is that? And what exactly is tetanus that makes this shot so necessary, even with the discomfort? In this video, we're going to dive into why the tetanus shot is known for its painful side effects theories behind the discomfort, and how to ease the pain, the history of tetanus, and the development of the vaccine, what tetanus disease actually is, and why it's so dangerous. You're not alone if you dread the tetanus booster. It's common to feel pain, even a lingering soreness, for days or weeks afterward. Some people report numbness right after the shot, or even a hard, marble-like lump at the injection site. It can be a whole ordeal. Now, doctors don't like to scare patients, so you might never hear them admit one shot is more painful than another. But the tetanus vaccine really does seem to pack a punch. Let's explore why that might be. Here's the thing. There isn't a single definitive answer for the pain. There are a few theories. Theory one, one, the bacteria itself, tetanus bacteria, are strange. They thrive in places with little to no oxygen. A rusty nail on the ground isn't a big deal, but that same nail causing a deep puncture wound? That's prime real estate for tetanus. Our bodies naturally fight off many infections, but a tetanus vaccine is needed to bolster our defenses against this specific threat. Theory 2. 2. The vaccine's action, the most common tetanus vaccine, contains tetanus toxoid, a modified form of the toxin the bacteria produces. The idea is to trigger a big immune response. That response might contribute to the injection site pain. Theory 3. 3. It's just how it is some medications simply hurt more. It could be due to acidity levels or another scientific factor we haven't fully pinpointed yet. Unfortunately, there's no magic trick to avoid the discomfort entirely. Here's what typically helps over the counter painkillers. Ibuprofen or other anti-inflammatories can take the edge off. Icing the area. Apply an ice pack for short intervals. It can reduce swelling and soreness. Time, time. The pain usually subsides within a few days to a week. If it worsens or lasts much longer, do see your doctor to rule out anything unusual. This pain may lead to a question. Do we really need tetanus shots in the first place? There's actually a growing debate in the medical community about this. See, it used to be the norm to get boosters every year. That interval has stretched out over time and now sits at every 10 years. Some experts believe even that might be unnecessary. There's also debate about whether we need a tetanus shot after every single puncture wound or only after those deemed high risk. The potential severity of tetanus is a big reason why the vaccine is still so prevalent. Tetanus isn't just a little muscle stiffness. It's a full-blown attack on your nervous system. How it works. The tetanus bacteria produce a toxin that causes painful muscle contractions, particularly in the jaw and neck. This is where the nickname lockjaw comes from. Serious consequences. In severe cases, tetanus can make breathing almost impossible, leading to death. Thankfully, the vaccine is highly effective, but only if you get it. Rarity in developed countries. Tetanus is incredibly rare in places like the U.S. where vaccination is widespread. When cases do occur, it's often in people who haven't kept up with their boosters. This isn't a new disease. Records of tetanus symptoms go back to ancient Egypt. Early breakthroughs. It wasn't until the late 1800s that we even identified the bacteria responsible for tetanus. The first vaccine, an antitoxin providing short-term protection, appeared shortly after. The tetanus toxoid vaccine we use today came in the 1920s. World War I and beyond? Why? Two was a turning point. The risk of tetanus in battlefield wounds made the vaccine standard for soldiers. 
drastically reducing cases. In the decades since, it's become part of routine childhood vaccinations worldwide. If the shot hurts and tetanus is rare, why bother with frequent boosters? It's a fair question. The risk factor. Your tetanus risk depends on your lifestyle and environment. Those working outdoors, around rusty objects, or in areas with limited medical access might benefit from more frequent boosters. Wound care matters. Even with a vaccine, proper cleaning and disinfection of deep puncture wounds is vital. This alone drastically reduces tetanus risk. It's a personal decision. Ultimately, the choice of how often to get boosted is best made with your doctor. They can assess your individual risk factors and help you decide Let's revisit those tips on managing the pain. Since they'll likely be relevant whether you get boosters yearly or once a decade, plan ahead, take over the counter pain relief before your shot if you have a history of strong reactions. Move that arm. Using your arm gently after the injection can help prevent stiffness and soreness. Cool it down. An ice pack for short periods reduces inflammation. Don't panic. Anxiety can worsen any pain sensation. Remind yourself, this will pass within a few days. Most of the time, some discomfort is the worst of it. However, seek medical advice if you experience severe or worsening pain. If it's unbearable or keeps getting worse, don't just tough it out. Allergic reaction. Signs include hives, difficulty breathing, wheezing or swelling. Lasting symptoms. If pain, redness, or swelling don't improve within a week or so. The tetanus booster may not be fun, but it plays a crucial role in protecting you from a potentially deadly disease. Talk to your doctor about your immunization schedule. Armed with the knowledge of how to manage potential side effects, you'll be back to normal life in no time. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more health-related content. Thanks for watching. Have you had any particularly memorable experiences with the tetanus shot? Any tips to share? Let's discuss it in the comments.